As we have reported previously, Minoru Suzuki is an evil, sadistic man. Which is why few are surprised as at his post-match comments from the recent New Japan Pro Wrestling Anniversary show. Suzuki's comments came on the heels of his successful title defense against Togi Makabe. Suzuki needed just under 20 minutes to defeat Makabe for his first successful title defense of the IWGP Intercontinental Championship. The match between the two started out as a brawl, but Suzuki would eventually begin to target the knee of Makabe. This only increased after Makabe missed a King Kong knee drop later in the match. Suzuki was unable to make his opponent tap, however, and he struggled initially to get him up for the gotch pile driver. In the end, however, Suzuki was able to get his opponent up for his finisher and pinned him to earn the victory. Suzuki grabbed the microphone after the match was over and cut a promo which can only be described as vague and ominous. His comments to the press in the back only furthered this trend. Suzuki's promo loosely referred to unnamed wrestlers coming to step on his head, but failed to be specific. To Suzuki, perhaps, it doesn't matter who is coming for him, he only knows they are on their way. I know there's more of them out there, stepping on my head, he said. Suzuki lifted his eyes to the ceiling after making this comment, as if it were ghost of past on legends coming after him. When a fan yelled out for Suzuki to give a name to the people he is talking about, he snapped back at them. Who am I talking about? You don't even know anything about pro wrestling, he said. Fans were trying to get on his side, but... Suzuki quickly shot down any applause or approval. He then dared the crowd to attack him, proudly exclaiming he would kill them all if they did. Things only got weirder when he faced the press backstage. Suzuki continued making ominous claims and threats to the press, even as his music could still be heard in the background. He turned his attention momentarily to Will Ospreay and Kazuchika Okada, who would be coming out shortly to main event the show. I sacrifice my body and I'm in the semi-final. Those two are just playing and in the main event. Quickly after making the comment about Osprey and Okada, however, Suzuki turned his attention to New Japan Pro Wrestling. He criticized the promotion for using history as a way to sell tickets. Finally, as his as he seemingly spiraled further into madness as the interview wore on, Suzuki began making claims of seizing power. As time goes on, everything will eventually be in my hands. Everything. All of the world's treasures. The 49-year-old co-founder of Pancrase is promising something, though he is being purposefully not clear about what it is. Whatever is coming, however, he promises it's coming soon. It's not far off, he said. It's already coming. As soon as we know more about what Suzuki has planned or what he feels is coming, we'll let you know. Just remember to hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss the report. I'm the Eye Guy from Spoiler Free Wrestling.